Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have watched my previous Microsoft Excel series video where we created an automated Excel invoice, you can find the link in the description or by clicking the i button in the top right corner. In this video, I will show you how to connect the automated Excel invoice to a database. First, we will enter some record in the invoice format. Fill in the description and quantity and the rest of the work will be done automatically. As a result, we will have an invoice record for the customer. You will notice two buttons on the screen. If we press the submit button, our record will be saved in the database. After clicking submit, we will check the database to verify if the record has been updated as you can see, the invoice record is successfully updated in the database. To clear the record for entering new information, simply click the clear button. Once you click clear, the record will be cleared and the invoice will be ready for new entries. Let's dive into the video and learn how to achieve this. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. First, we will create the database format. Start by opening a new Excel sheet and naming it database. Next, enter headings such as invoice number, date, customer detail, name, contact, address. Select all three headings. Copy them with Ctrl plus C. Then navigate to the database sheet and press Ctrl plus Alt plus V. A paste special dialog box will appear. Click on Transpose and then press OK. This action will easily transfer the customer detail into the headings. Now take a look at the Excel invoice and identify which headings are compulsory for the database header. For example, if you want to include total amount, GST and grand total, copy them with Ctrl plus C, move to the database sheet, click on the desired cell and press Ctrl plus R plus V. Once again, the paste special dialog box will open. This time, click on transpose and then press OK. Now that all the necessary headings are in place, adjust the column width accordingly. With the headings in place, we need to create a table. To create a table, you will need at least one record under these headings. After entering the record, select the entire range where you intend to apply the database format. This choice is up to you. Once the range is selected, go to the Insert tab and click on Table. Then press OK. Please take a moment to comment under this video sharing what the shortcut is for table creation in Excel. Write in the comment. Now you can see that the database format is ready. To connect this database with the invoice, start by creating a new Excel sheet. In the Excel invoice, collect all the essential data and place it in one location. Select a cell, write is equal to and then reference the invoice number cell and press enter. Repeat this process for all database header record. Once all the data is consolidated connect these records to the database. To do this, we will record a macro, a set of instructions that we record once and can execute multiple times. If you can't see the developer tab, click on the drop down arrow, select more commands, go to customize ribbon and enable the developer tab. Now click on record macro give it a name and optionally assign a shortcut to run the macro. In our case, 
we will create a submit button and assign the macro to it. Press OK, but be cautious as all steps will be recorded. First, select the record. Copy it with Ctrl plus C. Move to a new sheet. Click on the first cell. Press Ctrl plus R plus V. Open the Paste Special dialog box. Click on Values. So, only text appears without formulas. Then click Transpose and press OK. Repeat the process by copying the record again with Ctrl plus C. Moving to the database sheet, selecting a cell, going to the Home tab and click on Insert Copied Cell. Finally return to Sheet 1 and click on an empty cell. The macro recording go to the Developer tab and select Stop Macro. Your macro is now recorded. Next create Submit and Clear buttons. Pay close attention to how I create these buttons and follow these steps carefully. Now that the submit and clear buttons are ready, assign the recorded macro to the submit button, right click on the submit button, click assign macro and remember the name you gave to the macro, click ok. To check if the recorded macro works, quickly enter a report. When you click the submit button, you will see that some actions are performed. Visit the database sheet and you will notice that the database record is updated. Your Excel invoice is now connected to the database. You can also create a PDF file to this invoice. To do so, click on the file tab, select save as. Choose a location folder, enter a name for the file, select the PDF option and click save. Now you have a PDF ready to be sent to the customer as a soft copy or as a hard copy depending on their preference. Now if you want to enter a new record, you will need to clear the previous one. Clearing record one by one can be challenging, so we will record another macro. Go to the developer tab, click on record macro, select the invoice number and press the delete key. One by one select all records and press delete. Finally click on the invoice number cell, go to the developer tab and stop the macro. Your macro is now recorded. Assign this macro to the clear button. To check if the recorded macro works, enter a record, click the submit button. To update the database and click the clear button, you will see that the invoice is ready for entering a new record. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's valuable resource for small businesses looking to create their own invoice format and maintain a database without the need to purchase specialized software. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to access more informative videos. Additionally, consider sharing this video with your friends. If you encounter any problems, Please mention them in the comment box. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.